The brother asked a question in Urdu. I'll translate it. He said that the Quran says that do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. It's the verse of the Quran of Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30, where Allah says, Awalam yaran lazina kafru. Do not the unbelievers see. Anna samawati wal arda. Kaanat rat kan fatakna huma. That the heavens and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. So he's asking that who were these unbelievers? Who were present at that time when the heavens and the earth were together talking about the creation of the universe? He wants to know who were those people. Point number one, today science has agreed that how did our universe come into existence. Today scientists tell us that initially there was one primary nebula. Our full universe was one primary nebula. Then there was a secondary separation. There was a big bang which gave rise to galaxies, stars, sun, the planets and the earth on which we live. So this is what they discovered recently, 50 years back, 100 years back. The Quran has mentioned 14 years ago. But this is not the question of the brother. The brother wants to know who were the unbelievers present at that time. When the universe was being created, who saw this? If we understand the translation, the Quran was even in Arabic. Avalam yarallazina kafaru. Do not the unbelievers see. The translation is see. But in context, it even means no. It doesn't mean dekha, but abakh se dekha. Kya apie nahi jante? So when the Quran says, do not the unbelievers see, it means do not the unbelievers know that the heavens and the earth were joined together. That means even today, most of the unbelievers, they know that the heavens and the earth were joined together. So here, seeing is knowing. Similarly, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he speaks in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 9, he says, he that has seen, has seen my father. So see doesn't mean he that has seen Jesus Christ, has seen God. The person who knows Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the messenger of God, even knows God. In context. If you read the context. The Christian misunderstood that if you see Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that means you have seen God. Here, yeah, seeing means knowing. In context, seeing means knowing. Similarly, in this verse, when in English we say see, in Arabic also, Avalam yaral lazina kafru. Do not the unbelievers see or do not the unbelievers know. Today, Alhamdulillah, most of the unbelievers today know that how the universe come into existence. So this was besides talking about science, is telling the unbelievers that then why don't you believe this is the word of God? Hope that answers the question.